What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome to the F1 career mode here today for part 20 at the Mexican Grand Prix If you're going to enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want We'll have much more content like this, maybe some F1 tutorials as well if you would like to see that but this is a special episode because this could well be the title decider between Valtteri Bottas and Lewis Hamilton 71 points between them 76 points left so Valtteri Bottas all he needs is, is 5 points and he is world champion which is an odd thing to say the most unrealistic thing to say ever let's be honest he's not that good but anyway let's stop ripping into Bottas let's get into the qualifying had a poor one very well as you can see here and at the end of the session it was into his but my big brain completely mistimed it so we're going to be starting P20 so we're going to have to have an interesting start. Formula One calendar. So who I wonder, will the crowd cheer on today to the top step of the podium? We're a long way above sea level here in Mexico today, which could pose some cooling issues for the cars as they make their way around this 2.6 mile lap. 17 corners with top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour. And watch out for potential overtaking into turns one and four. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. So let's talk about Callum Island. As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away. Indeed, though, we're starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Gasly, Ocon, Norris and Kevin Magnussen, Kvyat, Stroll, Lewis Hamilton and Giovinazzi, Albon. They've taken a grid penalty. Ricardo, George Russell and Kimi Raikkonen. Latifi, Brown, Grosjean and Callum Island. And now it's time to head down to the track. Oh dear, oh dear Lewis. Valtteri Bottas on the front row. P2, Lewis Hamilton all the way down in P13. He has got a massive mountain to climb if he wants to win this title. We're going to start on the mediums. Go two sets of softs. But let's get into this then as it's lights out and away we go in Mexico can Bottas take the lead at the start it's between him and Charles Leclerc down through towards turn one it's a very long run remember just using everyone's slipstream we can Valtteri Bottas is down the inside of both Ferraris he's taken the lead or has he he's side by side with a Ferrari we've got a good start we're getting multiple positions round the outside of the Haas and now side by side with the Renault I think that's Daniel Ricciardo Lewis Hamilton just up the road then as we try and swing it around the outside we get the job done try and do the switch back try and do it again we're going to go around the outside we've got the Renault and now we're going to send it down the inside of Lewis Hamilton squeeze him out and now we can say that we have overtaken a Mercedes in this career mode I'm a Hamilton fan I don't really know why I did that looking back on it try and help him out as much as I can but who cares racing's racing and we've had an absolute mega start and we're not done yet for about going down the inside of the racing point but there was better opportunities and we took it there down the inside of the racing point and the other Renault and come around the final corner what a dramatic opening lap this has been in the Mexican Grand Prix we've just sent it left right and center and we have gone from P20 to P8 in a single lap managed to fend off Lando Norris for a lap 
Um, and now Lando looks to have got us, but we send it back down the inside. Lando Norris, though, pushes it wide and just sits on the apex. I'm not really sure what is he doing there, but who cares? We get the position back off of him anyway, so I think he's on the soft, so he's got the tyre advantage and the car advantage as well. So it was always going to be a struggle to try keep him behind, but here he comes again. He's coming back at us. He's already got us before we even get to the DRS zone. Just about. And there, there's no there's no defending this this time, is there? We're going to try, though. We're going to break very late. We're going to try hanging around the outside, down the inside again. And yet again, Norwich is passing parks on the apex. Not too sure what his tactics are there or what is he doing. I don't know, into turn one again, Lando Norris all over the back of us, this time we defend him, but this time he's going to have a good launch off of that corner, but couldn't quite get close enough, we are literally hanging on for a thread and a mistake like that isn't going to help us, but he can't get close enough yet, so those soft tyres now, it's actually Lewis Hamilton, I think Lando Norris may have pitted, but here comes Lewis, he's, he's got this, no. It was, it was good while it lasted being in front of the Mercedes, that was a solid 7 laps, so I'm happy with that. But <laughs> Lewis Hamilton, hopefully, I think Bartas is leading the race, so he's got a big mountain to climb, there's still a fair way in this race, and hopefully he can carry the battle on into Brazil next time out but we shall see what he can do he's got to get the hammer down it is definitely hammer time now going into the stadium section it's a safety car and that's because Sergio Perez has retired from the Mexican Grand Prix his home Grand Prix and what a place to retire as we're right at the final corner we're going to come into the pits, we're going to go into the hard compound tyre this is what happened to Sergio Perez there's no smoke so it's not an engine failure it just looks to have switched off and he's just pulled off to the side at least this is the final corner if he had, if he had retired in the stadium section he just got out of the stadium section if it had been a couple of seconds earlier I think that would have been more painful being in the stadium section with all those fans but poor Checo and I've got to watch his home Grand Prix from the sidelines Lewis Hamilton just in front of us and we're going to come into the pits as I said before put on the hard tyres and just see how far we can get these tyres safety cars out so we'll be able to manage them a little bit more under the safety car conditions try and keep some more life in them depending on how long the safety car takes Carlos Sainz is leading the safety car you're not you're not seeing that incorrectly he is leading the safety car I think he's still yet to pit followed by Pierre Gasly and then one of the Ferraris and then a Red Bull as well as they come round the final corner to start restart the race They head down towards turn one, it's just a massive train as Pierre Gasly tries to pull to the outside of Carlos Sainz, Carlos Sainz squeezes him out, round the outside he tries to go, Sebastian Vettel, I think that is in the Ferrari, trying to have a look as well, as in the background we're, we've not had a good one, we've nearly gone wide there, we've managed to get past the Alfa Tari, and now on next but the road is our teammate Callum Eilert, who there's some big question marks around him with us thinking of what we're going to do and Alex Albon nearly took us out there around the outside, jump done by the tie driver there's not really any point for it fighting that either that's kind of like the Hamilton one as well and Kimi Raikkonen has slipped through there I couldn't really gain the position and now everyone around us were kind of pitting doing their own thing so we were just sat here on our own basically being a punching bag as here comes Lando Norris coming back for more from earlier in the Grand Prix try and force him wide and he's doing it again well, I don't know I, I don't know what he has with that corner it's like he's scared of it 
you know, it's like Baby Yoda, that video or something. He doesn't like it. As there's more yellow flags out, and that's because Alex Albon has retired from the Mexican Grand Prix. They're dropping like flies, and that that time it's a massive engine failure. All about Perez not retiring in the stadium section. Albon's gone and done it now. And you can see here just managing the tyres, they're all pretty, pretty worn now, especially the about 40%, that's not too bad, but they are starting to wear and you can see there's still 13 laps to go as Kimi Raikkonen re-overtakes us from earlier on in the race. I think we're the only ones on the hard tyre as Daniel Ricciardo just absolutely blitzes us now in the Renault the honey badger so I decided on lap 26 to come into the pits and you'll see there that we have a stop go penalty and that is because under the safety car I made contact with Callum Milo. and you can see it here on the replay as we're in the background you can see it was just a little love tap because he brake tested me and there was nothing I could do about it he's my own teammate and that was where we got five second penalty so we've just got to get our head down it was never going to be a good result anyway I don't think we didn't really have the pace as we go down the inside and go through Magnussen there that's that's a bit odd um, I didn't think I had ghosting on but apparently I do that was very very odd um, but fair enough it means I don't make contact with him down the inside forcing why then it's ghosting again what is it doing I do, I do not know there. I'm not sure. I'm trying to keep tabs on the title fight, but I think Bottas is leading. As now, we're set in purple sectors and the timing screens are light. Rounds the final corner, and we set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Because we're not going to get the point. But. It was worth a try, as you can see here, this is the final lap, Charles Leclerc has won from Valtteri Bottas, he is the 2020 World Champion, doesn't matter where Lewis Hamilton finishes, he had to beat him, and that it is, Valtteri Bottas is a Formula 1 World Champion for the first time, we've got driver of the day, but today is Bottas' day, and their words you'll probably never hear again about Joey Bottas, world champion, more aggressive in the F1 game than he, as he is in real life. Competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then, we have a new world driver's champion. Well what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Ant, talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. So there we go then, Valtteri Bottas is this season's world champion, I can't get my head around that, oh my god that would never happen, Valtteri Bottas is not that good, uh, I don't know, take it in Bottas, fair play, he didn't win it in style but we can't have too much of it, Bottas is world champion, Mercedes have also wrapped up the constructors so the final two rounds, the gloves are off, Hopefully we'll see some excellent, excellent racing. Titles decided, points don't matter. Especially at the top anyway. Obviously it's still very tight in the midfield and sort of where we are in the lower end of the midfield as well. Looking at the drivers though, I'm starting to think about who we can do. I've decided that we're going to save up the money to potentially buy a driver. Valtteri Bottas, well done to him. 
it's probably the only time he's going to do it. But you never know, next season he might make it too. I'm hoping Hamilton make gets his seventh. But that's it, guys. We have a new champion. I will see you in Brazil. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah, we have a new world champion in Valtteri Bottas. Be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this season. And goodbye. Thank you.